And then one day my friend who actually is a podcast host, he said, Stacy, you really need to tell the world your story and you need to get your voice out there. You need to be heard and people's stories need to be heard and you are the one to do it. And I said, you know what? I, you know, I was a little scared because I never did podcasting before. I said, but I get, I'll give it a try. So I, I opened a podcast and the podcast blew up. Within three months, I, I had over I close to a year of bookings. And, you know, I made a lot of mistakes along the way. But over the course of time, I have over one million people listening to my podcast. And I've actually turned it into a six-figure business. And it's been incredible. And what I love about it is that my story was heard by so many people and I've helped so many people just by my story because they don't have to have epilepsy. Just one little segment from my story gives people motivation and encouragement and, and helps people understand that you're not alone and no matter what you go through in life, everybody has a story, everybody has obstacles, we could all get through it. And if you think about it, everybody goes through something in life and we all get through it. We, you know, it's that point when we're in it, that's really overwhelming, but over time we always get through it. And so I have people come on my podcast and it's really motivational. It's, you know, it's all about self-improvement and topics going from health to, to mental health to, to even people come on and talk about business and how you could actually, you know, improve your life by improving your income and making, taking a lot of stress off your life everything you can think of. So it's been a great journey. It's been an amazing journey. And I didn't realize that I was going to go this way. And uh, it's been a, it's really been an interesting journey and I'm blessed and I'm really happy to help others. That's, you know, really my motivation is to help others. You know, one of my biggest things that I tell people is that you have to find a niche. You know, the, one of the biggest things is that we have a lot of experience in all different areas, especially as we get older, we learn more, we experience more, but you really have to close that niche up and think about, I want to blank, blank, blank. And you know, and you have to just like close it down and narrow it into a, a small little niche because the smaller your niche, believe it or not, the bigger success you will have. You'll be able to focus on that niche. People will know what you're about and you will have a larger audience, a bigger audience, and you yourself will know what your primary goal is. People, strategy is key. You know, sometimes people just jump into something and they don't have a strategy. You need an objective. You really need to, um, you know, figure out, okay, I'm going to do these episodes maybe once a week or twice a week or, you know, three times a week. You know, I do it four times a week because I have so many people that want to come on the podcast that I do it like Monday, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday and I might actually even have to open it up because so many people are asking to come on to the podcast and you know so you have to really think about how much how much you want to devote and how much time you have and think about what your strategy is and quality equipment is, is so important you know because a lot of times people will go on they'll have their computer camera they won't have a pretty background you know they won't have a good microphone and then you see blurriness in the in the screen or you, your their voice isn't clear people will just tune off to that if you don't have you have to invest in quality equipment if you know you might it, you might you know say oh it's a little costly it's not that costly and it also will help help you get a larger audience because the more the more you you look like a professional the more people are going to take you seriously and you want people to take you seriously because you're there to make a point you're there to help others and you need to be the person you need to be it you know you are the girl or the guy you know come on you got to look like a professional you got to be that person you know say I'm a badass man I'm a badass I'm I'm the expert you know listen to me and you gotta so if you're gonna say that to yourself you gotta look like it, like it. and you, know, you gotta make it catchy. Your designs and the way your 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 uh, thumbnail looks and your branding. If you have an intro and an outro, all that stuff matters. And you have to make the colors consistent. Sometimes people are just like all over the board. Everything has consistency is key. People don't if they don't understand what you're about, they're not gonna listen to you. So your your thumbnail, your picture, your colors, they all have to really go with each other and they have to kind of kind of be they gotta you know, pop there's so you know, many podcasts out there that you know it's it's you don't want to be a pee in the pod you have to really be you know you really have to pop so you really have to put some time and energy into how are you going to make yourself you pop like plan you know launch you know and if you already have a podcast you could relaunch because you know there are times when you look at your metrics and you're like 
you know, I'm not really getting that many people coming on, you know, so maybe it's time for a relaunch. Even companies do this. You know, everybody does it at one point, you know, when the things are starting to drop down or they plateau, it's time to change things up. And so a relaunch or, you know, or launching your podcast, you know, you you have to change things up. You know, you always have to watch your metrics, watch what you're doing, see how the audience is reacting and, and understand who's coming on your podcast. So you, if you understand your audience, you'll know how to serve them better. And that way, not only you're going to benefit, but they're going to benefit. And so do your research. Like I was saying, you know, you have to always, you know, really put a lot of effort into it. Like, you know, you have to, when people come on your podcast, don't just like, glance over it in two seconds and see who's coming on understand who your guest is understand who they're about what they're trying to get across their message i always spend like 10 or 15 20 minutes sometimes with people before i even start to record the podcast i've done the research i've looked at their websites i've read their stuff i've i've read all the material they sent me but then i sit with them for about 15 20 minutes and i i talk to them and i really get to know them as a person because we really we don't get to know people texting all this stuff and and reading until you actually really meet the person and once you meet the person understand them understand what their compassion is, what their message is, then you can actually have a great podcast because you're going to know how to interact with that person. You're going to know what type of personality they are, and you're going to have an amazing podcast, you know, and I don't like to ask questions personally. Like, like I don't send questions over ahead of time. I like to have a normal conversation because I feel like keeping it real is key too, because, you know, people don't want pre-recorded. Everything looks perfect. You know, if you ever look at a movie, I don't know if you've ever like seen the movies where they have all the mess ups at the end everyone can't wait to see the mess ups you know because it's real everyone oh. wants to know what happens behind the screen you know and it's so you got to keep it real i don't you know so sometimes there's a little mess up we joke about it we go on you know and i think people respect that you know so i don't try to make things perfect because life is not perfect people aren't perfect so let's be let's be real you about know, it you know and i also say to look your best like i've gone to podcasts and people look the host looks like they just woke up and, and rolled out of bed you know I'm like you know it's like you gotta you gotta really have you know people aren't going to take you seriously as a host if you don't look your your best if you don't look who the, the brand is who the person you are trying to perceive yourself as and to the audience you have to really look your best look good make your background good and you really have to show who you are and take some time out. Just like you take time to do the research, well, take some time out on yourself. Make yourself look like a professional. Make yourself look like the person that you wanna be perceived as, and go out there and rock it, you know? And just rock it, baby. And CEO you know, is so important, you know? People don't realize this, and I didn't realize it in the beginning either, but, you know, I help a lot of people with this because people aren't familiar with CEO, but your title, your description, your keywords that you use in every single podcast you do makes a huge difference because Google has spiders that come through and they look for your, your title. They look for your description. They look for your keywords. That way they know where to rank you, where to put you, and you can get higher and higher ranked on Google. And that makes a big difference too, because you want to be seen. And you know, that's the whole point, yeah. a catchy title that is going to make people want to actually stop and read the description and also that thumbnail a thumbnail we're going back to that thumbnail again if you don't have an eye-catching thumbnail first thing that's important to a person is the picture second thing is the title and third thing they're gonna read a couple sentences of the description but not the whole thing those first couple sentences are majorly important so you got to really put some time and effort and if you don't have the ability to do that then hire somebody like I take care of that a lot for people because you know not everyone is computer oriented and understands CEO and not everybody can afford you know a lot of money on a big marketing team so you know if you go to people oh, yeah. that can understand this stuff and help you with it it can make a huge difference on and, your podcast you know, and get out and, there you know just don't put your podcast out there and do no nothing about it you have to really first of all you have to put it on on as many platforms as possible like when I started my podcast I made sure it went everywhere I made sure it went on Spotify speaker Amazon 
Amazon, you know, Apple, I hit every single place. And then I went on websites to, you know, that, that, that broadcast and advertise, you know, podcast, because I want to be known. The more you put your name out there, the more you're going to show up on Google, the more people are going to see you, the more people are going to talk about you, the more people are going to share you, and you're going to eventually get all over the place. It's not going to happen at once because it takes time for everything to be acknowledged by Google. But you know, word of mouth is a powerful thing. You start doing these things and you start perceiving yourself as these, as, as a, an important badass and you show a really professional brand, people are going to talk. And if you start to really be able to communicate with your guests and really have a great conversation, and most of all, a conversation that's going to help people. The purpose of doing these podcasts is not just to make no. money. The first priority, the first thing you want to do a podcast is because you want to help people. That's why I got in this business. The whole thing was is that if people didn't come out in the woodwork to help me, I would not be where I am today. You know, I had people, hundreds of people come out over the course of my lifetime to help me in my roughest times. And to me, it's always giving back giving back, having gratitude, kindness, loving people, not seeing people, you know, for who they are on the outside, but seeing people who they are on the inside, in their heart. And that's what matters is who they are inside. And everyone has a special beauty about them. And that's why I created my podcast is to, to give people the advice that, that that's going to help them improve and change their life, you know, engage and with your fans. It's not just about just putting the podcast out there, but engaging, talking with your fans, having a conversation, letting them know that you're human just like them. And, you know, that's really important. Also, you want to make sure that you have, you know, you interact, you like, you, you follow some of your fans, you know, you have, you have conversations, you know, and, and that helps too. You know, that really, that brings the, it up to like a higher level. You know, people like that. Engagement is important. So you have to keep that in mind. And like explore you know, opportunities. Like when you're making money, you know, and you want to really prop, you know, you want to profit because you're taking a lot of hours, in, you know, doing this podcast. You're uploading, you're researching, you're downloading, you're editing, you're doing whatever you need to do to make your podcast great. And it's, it's a job. It is a full, you know, it, it could be a part time job. It could be a couple hours job. And I know some people, I have one friend, he interviews rock and rollers all day and he, it's a full time job for him. So, you know, it, it all depends what you want to do. Yeah. And you I know. say mix and mingle, make connections. That's very important. You know, connections is key. You know, uh, you have to get out there and start making connections. Tell people who you are, what you do. I'm a podcaster. I help people. How can I help you? You know, and don't be embarrassed. You know, you never, you know, the worst thing people can say to you is no, you know, and that's, that, right. that's my philosophy, you know. Ask for help, ask for business, you know, ask people, show people what you could offer them and see what they have to say. The worst thing they could say is no, and then you could change it up and say, well, I understand, but, you know, how about this, you know? And, you know, you just keep them on a side list and maybe next year or six months from now, they're, you know, maybe it's just not a good time right now. You know, don't nix them, you know, go back and to them. Always, you know, I say, it's room for improvement, you know? Don't ever think everything is just perfect. As time changes, as the algorithm changes, as every people change, you got to keep mixing it up and changing your podcast and going with the flow. You know, just like, you know, you, you have to just you do what people want for, you know, that you think is uh, that that the people are looking for, because every generation has a different way of thinking. Every generation is different. People are different. People age, you know, so you've got to keep changing you know, things and, up. You know, grow your list and, you know, keep a list. I, I like CRM. Like I, I actually took a 12 hour course to learn how to use the CRM properly. And, you know, it helped me keep a list of all my clients, understand who I'm keeping in contact with, yeah. you know, and that's important too, because think of your podcast, not just as a hobby, but as a business too. And, you know, if you really want to make money, you have to treat it as a business. Don't treat it as a hobby. You know, you got to decide for yourself. That's when yeah. we go back to strategy. Okay, you know, your strategy, you know, now you have to think of it as a business. So, you know, treat it as a business and remember that successful podcasts take time. It's not going to happen overnight, you know, but you know what? You keep working at it and before you know it, great things will happen.